afternoon and a warm welcome back to the channel. You'll be aware that I recently purchased a brand new 2022 BMW K1600 GT SE and I've been very fortunate that Nippy Norman, the largest distributor of BMW aftermarket accessories in the UK, contacted me and said, could we supply you with some accessories to put on your video, put on your bike and, and promote the product for us? So um, I'm OK with that because it didn't cost me anything. I'm not being paid to do this, but I, I have received the items for free. So I'm quite happy to fit them to the motorcycle. Now, they make up a playlist. There's about five or six items. Most of these videos are 10 minutes long um, and I've put them all together in a playlist called K1600 Accessory Fitting, which you can find on my YouTube channel and links to the individual products in those videos from Nippy Norman's website are down below. Now, this particular video is going to be a little longer because it's actually three products in one video. So it may well be about 30 minutes, this video. Um, and it's all to do with the protection of the pretty vulnerable panniers on the K1600. Well, um, protection and also perhaps carrying a little more luggage as well. So the first product we're going to be looking at is the pannier rails. Now these fit on or above, they fit above, not on, but above the current panniers and give you a little more ability to carry up to three kilos of luggage. They don't require drilling into the panniers, so they come with a fitting kit, which we'll not go into here, but we will go into when we actually get out onto the motorcycle, which consists of various stays and brackets. But it does mean you don't have to drill the panniers at all. There is a point here at which you get some padding because it does just rest on the back of the pannier, but it doesn't also affect the functionality of the panniers. So even with the rails on, the panniers can be opened as they would normally be opened um, it, with, with the rails in place. But what this gives you, as I say, is the opportunity to put maybe a dry bag on or whatever else you may want to carry because, you know, you can never have enough luggage on a motorcycle. These are available in a left fitment and also in a right fitment. I'm not quite sure why you'd buy individual ones, but I suppose if you do break one, it's quite nice to be able to buy the one. Uh, but obviously Nippy Normans do them as a deal on the pair. They come in the black finish here, which is a, their, their steel um, construction and black powder coated. So very good for rust protection and corrosion. But they also do come in a chrome finish. I've opted for the black finish purely because my motorcycle is red, white, blue and black. So I thought the black would, uh, would go quite nicely with the panniers. Now, because this is a slightly longer video, if you're watching it on YouTube, if you go down to the playhead at the bottom, you will see little silver marks in it. That will enable you to skip to the introduction, to the uh, unboxing of the rails, to the unboxing of the next item, unboxing of the next item, fitting of the rails, and so on. So that you don't necessarily need to watch parts you don't want to. But I just felt this was better as an overall pannier video to have the three accessories rather than doing them as individual ones. So let's move on to the second item. So the second item are the Wunderlich crash protection bars for the K1600. And these sit on the front side of the panniers. And obviously with a bike as heavy as the K1600, you would only need to really just drop it in the car park and you would be damaging the plastic or even cosmetically the, the panniers on the side because they're, they're obviously not as robust as a 320 kilo motorcycle. So these are designed to just protrude beyond the panniers at the front, made of very, very uh, heavy duty tubular steel. And in this case, mine are again black powder coated to match the rails that we looked at a moment ago. You can get them in chrome in exactly the same way as the rails to match those two. And these are specially shaped to retain strength. Now, what's actually quite important with these, um, we'll, we'll just look there at the hardware. There's some uh, aluminium spacers and washers and some stainless steel fasteners. But if I just move out those out the way a second and we look, hopefully we can get this on the video without it all going out of focus. But if we look here, the most important thing about any cat crash protection is that you have more than two positions to mount it. So here we have three positions. And the reason for that is um, if we put this round in the direction that the motorcycle would be, so this is the front of the motorcycle, this is the two back mountings. If this received a force in this direction, which it would do, 
then this one here prevents that bracket from folding. So that's why you have the three points. And so it is very, very important whenever you're looking for any kind of crash protection that you do look for three point crash protection. But these are the Wunderlich uh, pannier protection, right and left, sold as a pair, link down below again, um, which will be fit into the Mert cycle in a minute. Just a little side issue here, which I found quite amusing, is they actually came shipped, each individual bar, so you get two, came shipped in these Wunderlich bags with a drawstring, like so. Um, and whilst you might think, well, you know, that's completely over the top packaging, Actually, when you think about it, what a great thing that is for your dirty laundry and everything else to be putting in the pannier. So nice little touch there, an additional product that is useful in the realm of the pannier. Let's look at the third item that we've got for the pannier video. So lastly, we've got the pannier protection film. Now, interestingly, this one will also suit the RT because the RT has exactly the same cases as the K1600. But what this basically is, is a little bit like a vehicle wrap. So when you wrap a car or whatever else, and it's a protection film and it's applied in exactly the same way. So on this roll here, we have three pieces for each pannier. So six pieces in total. And we peel those off their backing. We clean the panniers patently and we spray the panniers with clean water. We then lay these in the correct side down um, and position them, slippy as you like, on the water. If they're not slippy, you want more water. Um, and then you move them around with the water. And once you've done that and got them in the right position, you just spray some more water on the top. And then using the provided squeegee here, you just push the water out from underneath the film and you just let it go off. Now, I'm hoping that I'll be able to do this. I've never done any vehicle wrapping before, but I'm quite looking forward to being frustrated as I try to make perfection on this particular item. So that's the three items we're gonna be fitting to the panniers in this one video. It's the pannier rails, it's the pannier protection crash bars, and it's the protection film to protect you from scuffing it with your boots as you mount and dismount the K1600 or the RT in the case of the pr protection film. Anyway. Let's get out to the bike and fit this to the panniers. So we're back out by the bike for this three part pannier protection video. And the first thing we're gonna do is fit the protective films because obviously once we've got the rails on and the crash bars on, it's gonna be that much more difficult to fit those films. Um, I've got all the equipment that I think I need. I've got um, water here, which has got some fairy liquid in with it. So um, about, you know, a little tiny drop four or five drops per half a litre or so just so it's got a little bit of a film to it. I've got a couple of microfiber cloths. I've got this one here which I'm going to wrap around the squeegee. And the only reason I'm going to wrap it around the squeegee is to make sure that I don't get any grit or, or anything else on there and get a nice smooth expiration of the water. And then I've got a nice clean microfiber which I've shaken to get all the bits off it so that I can actually polish the panniers before and after. Now my panniers are brand new, so there shouldn't be a huge amount of grease or grime on there, but if you do have grease or grime on there, then just lightly wipe them with something like a methylated spirit just to get the grease and the grime off before you try and do this. And the other thing I'm going to do is wet my hands as well as the film so that I don't get any fingerprints on the underside, on the, the inside of the film. Anyway, let's get in a little bit closer so that you can see. So firstly, as I say, just give the panniers a wipe off, make sure that there's nothing underneath that is going to show through the film, like so. Looks pretty good. Okay, so there we are with the clean panniers. Now, just so that you know, we've got a film for here, we've got a film for here, and we've got a film for here. Um, and I think the one I'm going to fit first is the big one on here. So here we're going to I say spray, spray my hands again, spray the panniers again, and then remove the film. There we go. And then we need to spray the inside of the film, like so, to clean the bike after this. And then just 
position the film onto the pannier, like so. And then with the squeegee, gradually move the water out and the bubbles out from underneath. Now we've got a fair bit of warmth in the air today, so that should help us to get the film flat. But if it is cold, you can always use a hairdryer. Just get the curve in the direction that it's going. So um, that's it. Now, if I get my clean, clean cloth and just give that a good settling in. Now, you may find, as it says in the instructions, that you do get a little bit of grey underneath the pannier film, um, but that is due to the um, uh, water making a mark underneath and that'll evaporate um, acting with the adhesive on the back of the film so um, there we go so that's the first one in place um, it's the first time I've done that so I'm relatively pleased with the way that's gone um, certainly there's no bubbles in it nice and smooth we'll move on now to the second piece and then the last piece and that'll be the end of this particular part of the video. So here's the second film, peeled off the back pad. Fingers are wet, hands are wet. Now wetting the film, I've already wet the pannier. And we'll slide her into place. Like so. Okay, now we'll get our squeegee and towel. Let's get some of that water out from under it. That'll help me. Pretty well perfectly lined up for sure. Just get my clean cloth and if nothing else absorb some of the water away probably a tad too much of a perfectionist for my own good here but I'd like a nice clean bike relatively happy with that good so that's the second one fitted. Now we're on to the last one. And there's the tiny film of the last one. Spray her with water. And then slide her into place. I'll just try and dab away some of that water so it's not quite so wet because this is very short, this one. Perfect. So, with the squeegee again and the towel. Squidge the water out from underneath. Absolutely wonderful. So, with the polishing cloth, clean the rest of the panniers off. So there we go. That is the first part of this done. Protective film here, here and here. All the places where you'd hit it with your boots.
Let's check in now to fit the rails and the crash protection. Okay, so here's the second part of this particular video. We've already done the pannier film fitting and I've now done it to both panniers and it looks really good. And we're now gonna move on to the pannier protection crash bars. I've already moved the cases really easy on the K1600, literally turn the key to the position and the handle pops up, lift it by the handle and off you go with the bags. So um, both bags are off, but I'm just gonna fit the left-hand side crash bar on film because the right hand side is exactly the same. We've already seen the bar on the bench and the three point fixing which is all important and I've got my bag of hardware here with some spacers. Just very very roughly this is actually going to go down here and it's going to fit on the exhaust, the existing exhaust bolt and the exhaust hanger. Um, so pretty much like I'm holding it there. So we'll get in a little bit closer so you can see it being fitted. Let's get on with it. So here we are down with the bracket that we're going to remove. We're going to remove the actual exhaust bolt here that's holding the exhaust on and the two bolts here that are holding the exhaust hanger and the bottom mounting for the touring cases. So we'll just get a Torx 45, um, which is what fits these, and just crack them. It should be relatively easy to get out. There we go. And if we just spin those off, Get this quite done quite gently. We're going to reuse this bottom fixing, so the exhaust one is going to be reused. We're going to replace these top ones. Just quickly remove those and the hanger. So there we go, that's the, the hanger off. So we've got the left hand bar here, um, and I've already put the bolts in. Hopefully, you can see that they're countersunk bolts into countersunk washers here. Um, they're actually going to go up this way, so the spacers go on, and then they go into the hanger, like so. So to look at that hopefully close up, and I hope you can see that on the camera, we've got the original exhaust hanger, the spacers either side, top and bottom, the countersunk washer and the countersunk bolt, and as I say at the bottom we're going to be using the same bolt as came out of the exhaust. So we should now be able to locate these up. So, um, there's a bit of an unfortunate thing here. We've obviously got an original Torx here and these are hex key. So we'll just get ourselves a hex key to do those top ones up. So we'll be back in a short moment. Okay, so the top ones are five millimeter hex. So we'll just run those in as far as we can by hand. Like so. And then frustratingly, we'll change the bit for the 45 Torx at the bottom and we'll get the exhaust in. Now, all of that is hand tight. So now all we need to do is get our ratchet in place and just gently pinch those up. And the same at the top here. There we go pannier protection bar fitted to the left hand side. Now I'm going to put the case on so that you can see it with the case on and then I'll off camera fit the right the yeah the right hand side bar. So that's the second part of our three parts of the pannier protection fitting video. Lastly we're going to fit the rails once we've got the panniers back on. And there is the bike with the crash bar fitted to it in protection. Now it sticks out about an inch maybe inch and a half further than anything on the pannier. So certainly if you were to drop the bike that's going to be what hits first, which is patently the idea for it. Anyway, on to the next bit, and then we'll meet you for the third part, fitting the pannier rails. And so to the final part of the pannier protection set. Um, this isn't really protection, it's more a luggage rack, but it's obviously to do with the panniers, so we've grouped them together. Um, and here it is on the bench. One of the things that I've had to do is build a key here, because Wunderlich are very good at putting pictures of where you need to put screws and they put little numbers by them and then the key to the numbers of the screws is all in German. Um, they're a German company so we should forgive them that but I've translated that for you and there's a picture here which if you want to get a freeze frame and take a shot of that um, this will almost certainly help you out with fitting it. This is item number one, this is item number two and here we have three to sixteen laid out on my key here. 
The other thing I will say is, here's the, the pannier here. Um, it's the left-hand pannier, so we're fitting the left one. I'm not gonna show you fitting the right one. And in fact, I'm not gonna show you me struggling around and putting every screw in and every washer. What I intend to do is to show you the various phases of fitting this so that you can easily actually do that yourself. So um, rather than the boredom of screw, 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 we'll see it before, I'll explain it before, and then show you afterwards with it all done up. But the first thing I can show you on the bench, and that's with the main rack here, we have a little rubber grommet. That little rubber grommet pushes in this hole here and just pulls through by the nib. So literally pulled through and that will obviously protect the edge of the pannier. It's important to remember with these rails, they are a limit of three kilos and that's because they're actually gonna to fit to the pannier. There's nothing bolts to the bike at all. So if you remove the panniers, these whole set of rails come with it. So they are only being bolted to the composite of the panniers. So patently you can't put the bike on its center stand with it as we showed you earlier. Um, you know, you can't sit on them or anything like that because you will actually break the panniers. But the great thing about them is they do fit on the panniers and they don't need any drilling. So that's absolutely perfect and certainly good for a couple of dry bags or, you know, a sleeping blanket or something else. Anyway, um, that's the first item put in. The second item is the little bung that just pops in the end of there. He says just pops in the end. There we go. There we go. So a little bung to stop ingress of water into the end of the tube there. So hopefully you can see that. And that's pretty much the rack ready to go. So the first thing that we're going to do is just move those to one side, like so. And if I stand out of view and bring the box in, hopefully we'll be able to show it to the main camera for sure. We're going to remove this screw here and we're going to remove these two screws just here. So the screw on the end of here and the two screws on the back here. So they're going to be done with a Torx 25. We only use on this job a Torx 25, uh, an 8mm spanner, a 10mm spanner and a Torx 27. So I'll be back in a short while once I've fitted that to the box. So on this first phase of fixing, just so that you're aware, the two hole, which is just here, they take what are called in the uh, instructions a number five screw. So two five screws in there and two number six washers go in there. And on the other side, we have the same, that's the, the one here on the case. We have a five screw and a six washer, like so. But importantly on this one, to hold it off the paint of the case, we're going to put that spacer in behind. That's the thick silver spacer. So that's the screws we're gonna use. I'll come back once I've got that part of the rack fitted. Now, I've got the rail in place, so I've fixed the two fasteners here and the one fastener on this end, and I've just got those in sort of finger tight at the moment because the next thing I'm gonna to need to do, there's a pad here, you can see, and those pads have three M, so you'll be sticking one side of this onto the pannier and the other side onto the foot, just there, so that when those go together, it sort of locks the whole thing in place and gives a little bit of a pad for this to sit on. Now I have trimmed those on the edges. They come square and I just think they look a little bit ugly square. I'm not sure they'll look too nice once they're just trimmed by me with a pair of scissors. But what I'm actually gonna do now is I'm actually gonna get myself a pencil and just very, very lightly put a line around there with a pencil just very faintly so that I can see where that pad is gonna need to stick. So again, next time you'll have the pads under there and we'll have all of that fixed down with these fasteners. Okay, so if I show this to as many cameras as I can here, hopefully you can see now that the um, Velcro is, is now actually fixed in. We've now completed the fittings on the rear. So this screw here has been placed and that's got the washer behind it. And then these two here are holding the other end of the bracket. Now, effectively, that is the, that is the actual um, rail actually on. 
but now we've just got to put the stay at the back which is actually probably about the most technical thing so here's where the stay goes and that's going to be on here go all the way down the back of the pannier and actually put onto the hinge at the bottom of the lid so let's turn the box over so there's the rubber there that would normally the pannier would stand on so that's going to go there on those two screws now very very importantly here we're going to be using what are called uh, I think number 10 screws here two of them we're going to be putting here the plastic washer so that goes in there so effectively the plastic washer will go in there and the bracket will go over the top of it to hold it away from the hinge and then we're going to be using these small washers underneath and one of these on the rear has a captive nut and the other one is going to be using I think it's number 12 but the little eight millimeter uh, five mil thread eight millimeter spanner lock nut on the inside and we'll show you that a little bit later as I say when we come to do it so most importantly we're going to be putting the screw through the bracket then we're going to be putting the little plastic spacer in here and then we're going to be screwing them up through the bracket so again we'll get that job done and then we'll be back to you in a second so here we've got the pannier laid on its back so it's uh, it's the the way it would fit on the bike is laid flat on the table um, and the lid is open so that's the lid if we look the other side of that we'd see the GT stickers and this here is the rear of the bike and this is the front of the bike so if we now go down into this corner the rear hinge is what we're going to put the stay to on the outside now hopefully you'll be able to see that a lot clearer now if we look at the screw on the left hand side that's this one here it's a captive clip so effectively you can see that we're going to be able to undo the screw from the outside without any intervention whereas the one on the right here has an eight millimeter nut a thread locked nut on it so we're going to be having to put an eight millimeter spanner around that and we do have a nut to replace that with that is going to go onto there and I'll give you the number a little bit later um, but that's where the stay is going to be so in a moment we'll be back with the stay fitted but I thought it was just quite important to show you where this was going to go so back to a tripod mount we've now got the last remaining part here which is to fit the stay at the back there through and that's going to be done by means of the little stubby screw here um, and that's the one that has the 20 Torx 27 head with a washer either side and the dome nut on the inside so hopefully you can see that we'll get on with that job and we'll come back in a second so there we have the bolting up of the stay so the six millimeter bolt with a washer and then the other side a washer with a six millimeter dome nut now the only thing left for us to do now is the last little plug item which is this little plastic plug and that's actually going to go in the bottom on the stay down underneath the pannier there to stop the ingress of water and we'll show you that once we've turned the pannier over and there it is pushed into the end of the stay and in situ hopefully again there you can see the spacer under there which is most important there's the plug that we've actually just put in so that's the whole of the thing fitted let's get it up right go put it on the bike and let's take one last look at it out on there so here are the rails fitted to the panniers and i think they look pretty sharp um, certainly gives an opportunity to put you know sleeping bag or maybe a light tent on there remembering three kilos limit let's just have a quick look round. there are the crash protection bars that we fitted earlier and obviously the film which thankfully you can't see and the panniers with the stay at the back and the right hand side of the bike the crash protection bars and the luggage rail so I hope you've enjoyed that video on fitting pannier protection and the pannier luggage rails to the brand new 2022 BMW K1600 GT if you have thumbs up always helps um, subscribe to the channel would be great any comments you have would be welcome as well but 
that's the end of this video so hopefully you've enjoyed it thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye Thank you.